in your applications. So here are the basic rules in memory management. If you just follow these rules, you'll be okay. Release an object you've created with Alec, copy a new or retained when you're done with it. Sending a release message to an object decrements its retained count. When that count reaches zero, the object is destroyed and a dealc message is sent to it. Override dealc to release objects as necessary when your, your object is to be destroyed. This includes properties declared with a copy or retain attribute, and I talked about that earlier. When the auto-release pool is drained, a release message is sent to each object in the pool for each time the object has been auto-released. If you no longer need an object from within a method but you want to return it, send it an auto-release message. If you need an object to survive the allocation of the order release pool, send it a retain message. If you create an object using Al Copy New, you're responsible for releasing it, and you don't have to worry about releasing objects returned by frame methods, framework methods other than uh, from the methods uh, listed above. And the, by copy, this includes mutable copy as well, obviously. And that's it. Uh, I'm not going to go over, uh, 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 there is a way to find memory leaks. And, and actually, uh, this is a nice, um, I think I showed this in earlier class, a static analyzer that you could use in Xcode will actually show you if you've got a simple leak in an application and even knows about the auto-release pool. Um, you can use instruments, but it's, it's really, I don't have any time to show you how to do that. But here, I'm going to have... Um, my fract here, which I allocate in init, and I'm not going to release it. Let me clean this up. And here, if I, from the build menu, and this was available once again from Xcode 3.2, integrated into Xcode, if I do a, um, a build and analyze here, Okay, notice it says here, potential leak of an object allocated on line 9. If I click on this, I actually get this nice kind of graph linking uh, where this kind of was tra tra tracked from the analyzer. It's called a static analyzer. Uh, even tells you here that this method returns an Objective-C object with a plus 1 retain count and that the object uh, has a retain count of one. So it would recognize if I did a release on it, not give me this message. It also knows about the auto release pool. So you should try build and analyze uh, on some of your applications uh, just to get used to using it and see how, how, how it works. It's really a pretty neat application. Okay.